decadent, rich chocolate cheesecake. Doesn't sound healthy, but Richard Kerrigan is here to show us it can actually be healthy and you can cut down on calories. 100%. I'm going nice. to show you how to make a classic cheesecake. We're mm -hmm. going to make it healthy yep. and it's super, super simple. Ooh, I like it. All right, what do we start with? OK, so first of all, we've lined a baking tin, yep. a 20 centimetre baking tin, making sure it's lined underneath and around the sides. Mm -hmm. And then, Justin, if I can just get you to make the base. So we're going to, sure can. We're going to do a classic um, cheesecake base, yep. but we're going, to, we're going to make it super healthy. So mm -hmm. we're going to add some porridge oats, so okay. if you can just pop those into the blender. Sure can. And then we've also got some cashew nuts. They're slightly oily. Slightly so oily, it's some really help. unique flavour and some pistachio nuts. And this adds some great colour mm -hmm. and also some healthy fats in there. Nice. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add some coconut oil. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to heat this up just to a liquid consistency. Mm -hmm. And how many tablespoons? So we're going in with about five tablespoons. So this is going to help set yep. the cheesecake, yep. but also give it a bit of flavour as well, because mm -hmm. this is a salted coconut cake. <laughs> and usually when you're doing a cheesecake base, it would be very sugary biscuits and butter. So what Richard's done here is quite smart, is using some oats, nuts um, and then coconut oil. So it's, it's, a, it's a really good substitute. Exactly, yeah. So that's the fat content of the, um, of the cheesecake. So whilst that's melting, yep. we are going to get on with our gelatin. Now to melt the gelatin, we're just mm -hmm. going to pop it in some warm water. Yep. So this is six leaves of golden gelatin. So this will take about three or four minutes. Mm -hmm. If you could just give the oats a bit of a blend. Can do. Keep it quite coarse, just for some nice texture. All right, so I'm just going to pulse this a few times. Ah, there you Justin, go. If you'd like to just pour carefully into the mixture. Okay, the whole lot? We're going to go with about half first. Yep. And then give it one final pulse. Okay. And blend again. And then one final blend. That's great. Right. So we're looking for almost like a, a sandy, a wet sand consistency. A wet sand consistency. So Justin, if you can just add half of that honey. Yes. That just gives it a nice sweetness. We don't want it too sweet. You know, this we wanted this to have a, that savory base, but a slightly sweeter chocolate middle. And then one final pulse. All right. How's that looking? It's looking great. OK, so Joseph, if you can just spoon that into the tray now. Can do. We're going to push that down, pop it in the fridge, mm -hmm. and then we can get it on with our filling. All right. So in it goes. And it's a good idea to line your tray, as you were saying before. Yeah, just so nothing spills out the bottom. Yeah, and it's just going to make it so much easier to take out later exactly. on. Exactly. So talk to us about the filling. The filling. So I'm going to start by heating up some coconut cream. Yeah. So we just want that on a gentle heat. Mm -hmm. And effectively, we're making a bit of a ganache now. So I'm just going to start by cracking out in this chocolate. Mm -hmm. and once that's pushed in, just you can actually pop that in the fridge. OK. Just for five or ten minutes, just to cool it down. OK. And we're going to leave half of this chocolate just for the end. So if I can just get you to break that up in small pieces. Yep. And I'll do the other one. And you want to use good quality chocolate for this. It's the hero in this dish. Exactly. I always find it very therapeutic, unravelling the chocolate from the foil. Oh, it's the best, just... isn't it? Smashing it up. Yeah, the click. <laughs> the click of the chocolate. OK, so now the cream's hot. Yes. I'm going to turn that heat off. Now, the residual heat's going to melt the chocolate. So, Justin, if you can add the chocolates into the cream. OK. And you do want to turn the heat off here because it yeah. may split yeah. the chocolate. So the heat's enough, enough now to, to melt that chocolate. Go. We're going to go in with a little bit of the honey as well. Okay. The rest of the honey. Honey. Mmm. Good flavours here. And if I can just get you to slowly stir that off the heat. Off and I'm going to get on with the melting the rest of the gelatin. Okay. So as you can see now, that's softened up nicely for us. It's gone into that nice jelly consistency. But we yep. want to make sure that there's no lumps in the chocolate cream. Mm -hmm. So to do that, we're just going to pop it into a pan and we're going to heat it very, very gently. It will take 15 seconds, yep. and then we can add it back into the cream. So you can see that this chocolate slowly starts to melt in. And it gives it a lovely shine. You see yeah. the shine coming through? OK, so the gelatin's melted now. Nice. So if I can just steal that spatula from sure you. Sure can. And I'm going to scoop it out, so we'll make sure we get every last... Mm bit of the gelatin. And the reason, like I say, I've done this is so you don't get any lumps yep. in your chocolate cream. So we make sure we get every last bit out. And then if you can just give that one final fold, Justine, that'd be great. And then just to finish this off, a little pinch of sea salt just yes. brings out that flavour of the chocolate. Oh, I might have got a little bit too excited with the salt there. <laughs> That's all right. A smaller pinch. That's fine. How's that, That's Goose? perfect, perfect. <laughs> and then folding it in one last time. Yep. 
And that's our mixture done. And, that, and that's it. All right, well, I'll go get the base and we can put it together. Sounds good. Okay, so that's firmed up. Okay. So if you can just pull that in slowly. Okay. And so we've lined the base so it shouldn't fall out the bottom. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. You know what, Richard, I think this one is going to be pretty popular with everybody. <laughs> it's just so easy. Once it's done, you stick it in the fridge. It's so easy. And this is in your new book, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, crush calories in 20 minutes. So yes. we're just focusing on healthy recipes that are sustainable for everyone. Yeah. And easy. Easy and delicious. That's what we love here. Exactly. <laughs> now, the star of the show, we're just going to finish off with some coconut flakes. Okay. So you can sprinkle these over the top. And It'd you've already quite... toasted those? These are already toasted, yeah. Yeah. You'd be quite generous. Generous? Yeah. All right. Not as generous as that salt. <laughs> <laughs> well, far too much salt before. It'll taste good. Absolutely. All right, that's looking good. And how long is this going to take to set? So we just really need it to cool down. So yep. it'll take up to an hour. Yep. Um, and then it's good to go. But the best thing, if you make it the day before, perfect. Yeah, I mean, you've got people coming over, make this dessert, forget about it, one job done. Exactly. And then just finish it off with some chocolate. So that's going to go in the fridge now. OK. Richard, this cake looks fantastic. Looks good, isn't it? Yes, it's solidified nicely. I'll take it off the tray. Thank you. There you go. So I'm just going to pop it out of the tin. Mm -hmm. It's pretty easy to do, as you can see, because it is so firm. Yeah. And a spring form tin is priceless. Oh, the cake it's cake. so easy as well. Mm -hmm. You can see how you've got that nice, solid base. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. There it I'm going to slide this off. Yeah. There we go. This one. Pull that off for you. Thank you. Teamwork. Here we go. Oh. Ah. That looks good, but we're going to make it even better. So okay. what I want you to do is, with the rest of the chocolate yep. is just go nuts over the top of it. All right. Here we go. It's a pretty fine grater. <laughs> but how good does it look with that little bit of extra chocolate? Exactly. And you do this right at the end, yep. um, just before you put it on the, on the table. More? Amazing. Okay. That's good. That's looking good. <laughs> and then just finish it off with a little bit of salt just on the top. Okay, More for decoration. A just a little bit, bit this time though, okay? <laughs> Not as it's much. It's gonna be a healthy time. dish. Here we go. Nice one. Here we go. I love an alternative to a cheesecake that's quite rich, decadent, slightly naughty, healthy cheesecake. You see? Richard has created it. I love it. Thank you. You're welcome.